Okay, so I said I was going to take pictures to show you how I use my power sheets and my inkwell press planner, but I figured it might be easier if I just like film a quick little video. Um, I'm in the bathroom where all good videos are filmed. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so I have the academic gear inkwell press planner in a coil bound um, because I work at a school, so I need academic planner. So how I make my power sheets or utilize my power sheets the best is I keep I always keep them in the back so I keep my power sheets in a folder in the back um here it is <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you using my October power sheets because I haven't used um or I don't have any left since I was using undated so until I start um, the next year. So a couple of things, um, well we can just use October and calendar. Um, so what I track, so every month I, I use a color coordinated system, but every month before, while I do my power sheets, I look at um, my power sheets. And my power sheets, as a single childless female, my power sheets may look different than yours. Um, also, I'm all about simplification. So, um, I don't do a lot of, I don't have a lot of weeklies and I don't have a lot of dailies. I usually have like three max and then my bigger goals up here. Um, and then I need to fill out my progress bar there because I did that and then I, I kind of didn't fill in these all the way, but that's what happened. So I'll have, so for the month of, um, when I look at my monthly goals, I'll put some of these, um, in, uh, up here in my top five so that's how I use kind of this coordination and as I um, coordinate kind of my days obviously like purple coordinates to the purple on here um, same with the green or I don't, the green over here you can barely see it but those are a Pilates class and a couple other things so I use that for um, stuff in like this for my BSF is coordinates to the color here. So that's how I use on a monthly overview my power sheets and my Inkwell Plus planner. So one of the bigger ways that I use um, my power sheets and my Inkwell Plus planner is um, I use my dailies. I don't track my dailies in on my attending list. I track them in my Inkwell Plus planner. So obviously I didn't fill, finish filling it out, but that's okay because grace not perfection. Um, and I'm not picky, like I'm very flexible. So, um, this was the end of October was busy, so I didn't fill it out after that, but this is how I track. So my daily goals, I only have three and they coordinate to here. So this is how I track them. Uh, and then I take kind of how I want my month view to go in this part of your Inkwell Press planner. So my big highlight for October was living and loving well. Um, yeah, so that's how I do it on a monthly overview still, and then with my dailies right here. So then if we were to coordinate a weekly, okay, got busy at the end of it. So let's see if this is going to be the best week. Um, I also track some things in the back. I've switched this up a lot, but like memories and accomplishments and October favorites are favorites I track as well. So then how I set up my weeks is I just coordinate with my power sheets. So again, I do a lot of color coordination. So working out and like health goals are this teal color, which corresponds here. Um, hiking or like this uh, purpley color is like self care. So I'll like put that in when I need to. And then I do like my to do's here. Um, and I do like my meal plan here. I don't, I kind of just use um, this for the, the sides like just for whatever um yeah so anyway so that's kind of how I coordinate um and then like church here or hiking kind of there you can just kind of see how it corresponds so I hope that was helpful if anyone has any questions let me know you can just tag me um on this post so yeah that's what I do